map too. I'm pretty happy with it. Wait. Chat? Chat, the strat worked. E map too. I'm pretty happy with it. Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So, oh my, that's a little too loud there. So today I just wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Chieftain Righteous Fire Explode variant uh, has who has been exploding through maps. We are currently level 99 at about 68%. Uh, so we are blasting our way through. Should be level 100 today. I want to just make this video to kind of touch up things I've adjusted with this character and to explain my Atlas strategy and to show you guys really fast. Um, so because I know I'm going to forget really fast, I'm just going to talk about it. The only thing that I've changed from the last video, I have grabbed a synthesized, a synthesized explodey base. The base runs anywhere from like 5 to 10 exalts. It's not required at all. I think the only thing it really, really helps me with is getting smoother Legion clears. And sometimes I have like more consistent uh, uh, like proliferations for killing beyond bosses because it's like what dealing a tenth of their maximum life opposed to dealing like three percent right not a super big deal it's definitely like one of the fluff things you grab at the end one of the big ones though was grabbing uh dumbledore's chess piece you know shout out to harry potter he made a very good chess piece here so essentially by equipping dumbledore you get a lesser massive shrine and a lesser brutal shrine which scale with all of your shrine nodes and then when you're in the map you actually get that benefit of the shrine nodes but more importantly, it gives us a Massive Shrine and a Brutal Shrine. So the Massive Shrine gives us a huge amount of AoE. Uh, we get like another 10% when we're in our map. And the life lost from using it, because I have to run a Supreme Ostentation, costs about 5C for this jewel. Make sure you get the Kasparo version of Elegant Hubris. It really adds another layer of oomph to the explosions. Um, yeah, so we got this chest piece. I got this scepter. And I am now using this ring that we crafted. I crafted it with delirium essences so basically i had a synthesized flam on hit used a few delirium essences got a sick t2 life roll with dot multi fire damage crafted my chaos and i'm good to go and the last thing is i dropped my life flask for another chaos res uh, well for a chaos res flask so i'm currently at 15 percent but with my flask on we're about 50 percent so it's not too bad at all um as for my map i'm still trying to figure out what sextant combo i want to run I think I'm settled on Mortal Grief for 10% quantity with Gilded Breach. I don't think it's worth using Gilded Ambush in my strat. They're really expensive, probably Rusted or Polish. And then same thing with Gilded Harby. Gilded Harby I probably would not use unless you are running this map mo or a sextant for um, map bosses drop additional currency, Harbingers drop additional currency, and etc. So yeah, I'm just rolling with basically just density. That's really about it. And we are pumping right into Cemetery, and I'm throwing Beyond on this. Okay, as for the Atlas Tree, you can kind of see what we have. I'm going to go through this really, really fast and explain it. Um, I'll try to get a screenshot link. It just might be like a few hours late because I'm hopping right to my live stream. So, uh, I started off, I grabbed full strong boxes. I don't know if this is necessarily worth it for the extra mobs compared to getting 2% quantity, but in general, it's very good. So guaranteed strong box came up. I love shrine nodes, so I grabbed all the shrine nodes. The only reason I have Harby is because Harby synergizes very well with uh, Beyond because it's a bunch of mobs grouped together. Uh, moving on downward, Breach is one of the cheapest league mechanics along with Abyss that adds a ton of density without being invasive slash slow, yet also... I don't know it's just really good it's really good for density i don't make a lot of money off breach but i get a lot of experience and a lot of drops from breach so i just have call of zeshtu law because she drops a guaranteed breach stone whenever you kill her so i also have these baby nodes for magic mobs moving up more over here i grab the rest of harby i have opted out to not get the shards i'm not sure if i want them or not uh moving down over here we grab the rest of the strong box cluster so guaranteed or six percent chance at operative and guaranteed corrupted rare so i don't have to roll it moving up we grab the rest of the shrine nodes along with the harby node along with the quantity rarity coming across we are grabbing flash breach for faster breaches 
we're grabbing full influence pack size moving upward we uh do a little bit of a crescent moon here with the remaining points i grab a double div card with the duplicated currency a lot of people say these nodes are not worth it but i think what a lot of people don't realize is you don't have to have a divination box to duplicate your stuff it can drop out of a regular strong box and still dupe i don't know if i like covetous shrine over here but i have this i've got the sextants because i roll my maps or why well, i use sextants on everything um shadow of the hunger for increased altar chance then coming all the way across these nodes here also add rarity and quantity on your maps i've got beyond with the extra pack size with beyond with beyond and that's pretty much your atlas tree let's jump into a map okay these are going to be really laggy i don't even know if you're going to be able to see what's happening but here we go i cannot do this yet so an easy way to oh should i have my loot filter off we were doing a test yesterday that's not what i want to do let us uh yeah let us um wait save there we go okay so i like to put on rampage here to just see how many mobs i'm killing and then i just swap it off Uh, this is the wild berry pop tart skin if anyone is curious also known as the stygian skin my priority for altars is essentially anytime i see scarab drop i take scarab drop unless it's like one percent scarab drop versus quantity rarity sometimes i'll take quantity rarity then otherwise i always take quantity rarity if there's no good choice i try to prioritize getting uniques Oh boy, I can't move. Anytime I get a crazy lag like this, it's because of like the beyond chain dying and just shitting loot everywhere. Oh. You can see basically anytime I encounter the King Harbinger, my PC lags. And anytime I lag, it's because there's a bunch of loot being registered. Um, and that's pretty much why I decided on Cemetery. I would also like to note that I am almost 100, and I have never found a brother stash yet. I did find a mage blood, so, you know, I'm not crying about it. It's just really interesting that I have never found one yet. Uh, the next character we make with the mage blood is most likely going to farm, I want to say, burial chambers. And uh, we'll see if we have any luck there. I did run a few burial chambers. It lags, you know, pretty decently, so I was happy to see that. Um, so it did get the map density check. Uh oh, oh boy. Ooh, quantity rarity. Let's take that. that sneaky bugger worms molt again is an astral play is that another death south it is that south is rare man it's a pretty rare drop Ooh, three percent scarab i think we are just about clear uh, i think there might be some mobs in the middle but we're Pretty much good to go. A lot of people were asking me if I actually make money with my strategy. Um, I do. I do make quite a bit of money with the with the double beyond. But the thing is, the money is not as 
static as other money making methods because you're putting a lot down and you don't always make it back every map but the thing is when you're rolling your dice at things like beyond like this i've i'm probably getting like three plus exalt drops per day and then another two to three exalts if not more just from harbinger alone like not even including anything else uh then of course you have like all your scarabs and your chance at really high drops like we've gotten and this is not a lot of currency but like arakali's fang uh prism guardian um agus aurora i've gotten like four cost breeze. they're not worth anything now but the fact that i keep hitting like the rare drop table really makes me believe that just adding a bunch of monsters onto your map device is always first first off it's really fun for me and second off it's making currency so i'm really happy with that anyway that's pretty much about it remember if you need the more in-depth version of this character it's the previous video we put out covering the explode chieftain this is more of like an update so hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves if you did please feel free to like share and subscribe and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day but saturday or sundays at twitch.tv slash pox see y'all later